Okay, channel, welcome back. All right, we're going to do another story mode of, uh, it's called By the Book. It's where uh, Michael becomes a sharpshooter, pretty much, and Trevor becomes a interrogator. A torture interrogator to Mr. K. It's going to be long, like I said, and we're going to have a couple at the end where Michael and Trevor, how to, how to get them to fail. So with that, let's get on to it here. Uh, there you go. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Michael. I just don't like the cutscene of uh, Trevor taking a crap behind a dumpster. Ah, you gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You! You back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston? Is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you! Mm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This! Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? You're a so, fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know. Go for a drive. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Alright, and I included all the dialogue of the driving and everything. That's why this thing's so long. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. 
an electron microscope of bureaucratic shit, and that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. This was a nice car! Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went... Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being... Stop! Probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. Oh. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. Okay. Well, back there, you had the guy that looked like Frank Sinatra, which you'll meet later, Debbie Weston, and everything else. This gets pretty interesting. So, what can I say? And I've got it all in one video, so... At least I didn't make it into part one and part two, so I'm gonna try not to do that ever again. This is bullshit. This place, Davy, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him, just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Okay, here we go with the torture. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want! Ah, huh, man? Ah, huh, please! Look at me, please! They're in the sausage factory, all right? Make some sausage! Just tell me what to say! You'll barely feel a thing! I will! I will! I'm rude! Be gentle. I, I hope you're not a skier! Ouch. Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash. The Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? 
I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write him. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. Here we go. You get to play sharpshooter. Don't go shooting these people up for the hell of it. This'll do. Alright. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. No, please. Please get to work on this guy. Please don't hit me. Yeah, uh, the monkey ranch no, again. No. It's so heavy. Watch the <laughs> knee. Hey, 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 hey. Now, huh? Now you ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after. What does he look like? I wish Bill. Come on. I'm retired, middle aged. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle aged, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. All right, let's go to let's go to the uh, interrogator here. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Oh, Sorry, too God. late, Trevor! Show our contestant what he's won today! I remember, okay. I remember, I remember! Woo! Motivate him already! Details, man, I got details! Are you still alive? Oh, Trevor gets to play dentist. Please don't! No, 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 no! Making them suffer a little bit. <laughs> I love I love this part. <laughs> Come on, Trevor, pull that damn tooth out. Hold on! Oh, he was a tough SOB, that little guy. Ouch. That hurts so hard! And so no Novocaine. 
We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. Okay. Back to Mr. It's be Trevor. A long day until no. you give us some intel on our targets. Oh, he, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time. Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you. He smokes. That's all I know. You don't want to rough him up too bad and you run one out of those damn needles. Uh, he ends up dying. Is you don't want that to happen. To you? I'll show you at the end what happens when you waterboard him and electrocute him. He looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. I'm taking a shot of this after him. How long was that? That's one. You only got two more left. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. Any these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. There you what go. The that was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've got him. It's done. You'll hear it Woo! on the uh, news radio. That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent that work you got him. You. Now I got a rapid ball game to get to. So, Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh. Come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. We're gonna drive him to the airport and then we're gonna do the blooper deal. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. And the uh, blooper reel I did on another account, so my characters are going to look a little different. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kinda. Of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. 
No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Torturers or the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer, you torture for the good times! We should all admit that! It's useless as a means of getting information! I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you! Jesus Christ, good grief! I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures! No one drives me to the airport. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Get the hell out of my truck. And he falls down the stairs. Pretty funny. I get like 75% on this, I think. But I didn't use the uh, water board and the... Uh, the jump cables. I did that on another uh, account. As you'll see, my guy is going to look different, and there's going to be you know no eyes, subtitles. Tally, what do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be another? Oh fuck! You get kicks out of killing innocent women now. The report I'm going to have to write. Stevie fucked it. All right, that's Michael just having some free shooting. We're gonna need some more info on this That's guy. one way They're to fail it. Another way Michael fails it. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what? I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's... Oh, fuck! You get kicks out of killing innocent women now. The report I'm gonna See? have to write. Michael's raise. bald. Stevie fucked it. I got that on my other... I got that on my other... Okay... I think we get to go to Mr. K now. We're gonna need some more info. No, okay, on this one guy. more. They're having a party down there. Oh fuck! You get kicks out of killing innocent women now. The report I'm gonna have to write. Stevie fucked it. Okay, that should be the end of uh, Michael shooting. Okay, here's where we waterboard him. Look at Trevor, he's bald with a beard also. Not the water! Don't do it! You shouldn't be legal! No! No! You don't want to drown him after you used all your needles up. Please don't! This is what happens. I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Let up! You might drown! Then you get Steve Haynes pissed at you. Enough! Dry him off! We're we gonna get him up! Pretty funny. Now watch this part. Now hold on, hold on, what, 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 hold on. Forget it. It's fucking dead. Yeah, poor bastard, man. You are a fucking moron. Whoa. 
Hey, I just spent the past few hours torturing a seemingly innocent guy to death, and I don't even know why I did it. So does that make me a fucking moron? You're going down, punk. At the exact moment I get bored with you, your little racket will end. Yeah. Yeah, you love those fucking tough guy lines, don't you, huh? Fuck you! Okay, that's one way to do it. Now we're going to go for the... For another way. Okay, here. How many volts do you think they got <laughs> running through these things? Get them with the jumper cables. I am ready to talk. Turn him up. He's smoking. Don't kill him. Yeah, he went and pissed himself. Yeah, he charged them enough. Now hold on, hold on. Hold Here we go again. Forget it. He's fucking dead. Yeah, poor bastard, man. You are a fucking moron. Whoa. Hey, I just spent the past few hours torturing a seemingly innocent guy to death, and I don't even know why I did it. So does that make me a fucking moron? You're going down, punk. At the exact moment I get bored with you, your little racket will end. Yeah. Yeah, you love those fucking tough guy lines, don't you, huh? Fuck you! Okay, well, that's pretty much the end of all this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like her, please smash that like button. Want to see any more videos like this or anything I'm putting on the channel? Smash that subscribe button. And of course, I shall see you in the next video here.